when your connection to the past is gone you are lost you don't know who you are you do not know where you come from you do not know why you are here and these are the main questions that we have that we need answers for Psalm 90 verse 12 teach us to number our days so that we may have a heart of wisdom what does it mean to number our days we are all descendants of Noah you know we should have been able to trace our lineage back either to Shem or Ham or Japheth if you knew that you would know this Bible to be true if you knew that no one can tell you your great-grandfather lived in a tree and was a chimpanzee but isn't that what the world teaches us now and what is the world asking who am I where did I come from why am I here and where am I going and it is because the devil has stolen our spiritual lineage that we ask such questions and when we ask such questions it's the devil who has come with trickery and folly saying you are a monkey's uncle do you understand I am speaking the truth in love this is the deception that is there if somebody is cut off from their past you can tell them anything and they will believe the God of Abraham Isaac and Jacob has given us a lineage that we have lost because the devil has erased it now we come to the other side of things teach me to number my days that I may learn to walk in wisdom suppose somebody goes to see a doctor and they tell him you've got six months to live what do you think will happen to that person he will come back and reassess his life he will remove everything that is of no importance he will remove every relationship that is of no importance suddenly what is of importance will come automatically into place is that not so and suppose the doctor says you've got only 30 days to live you would hurry up to set your life in order isn't that so but then what happens after that the other week I was speaking a Jesuit priest had come here so one of my friends bought, brought him here and I was just talking to him the guy this man is in his uh, mid 70s and he was telling me I have studied theology thisology and zoology and all these ologies and I was thinking why is he telling me all this you know it just seemed out of the ordinary and he knew a lot of things and he was telling me all these things and about how you know historical facts and all this and I said Lord why am I listening to this what is going on and the Lord told me to stop him and ask him something you know all this I said but do you know your Jesus do you know Jesus do you know him personally I asked him and because the Lord told me to ask there was an effect he stopped dead in his tracks just stopped there looked at me and said I am at an age where I need to know what things are there in eternity because I am facing death now I need to know what is beyond teaching us to number our days will help us come to terms with what is beyond because you know you will have to leave do you understand what I'm trying to say we tend to live this life without a perspective of who's in what's behind us and what is ahead of us and we live only for now with the past cut off and with the future uncertain whatever lie is told to us we will believe but the past is one of fall of man the future is one of eternity with Jesus or eternity in hell so let's go to Isaiah 57 15 thus saith the high and lofty one who inhabits where eternity 
The high and lofty one is God. Where does God inhabit? Eternity. He lives in eternity. What does that mean? That means he lives outside of our time domain. What is time? Time started in Genesis 1 and it ends towards the end of Genesis, uh, Revelation. When we leave this body, we go outside of time to meet him. And the time becomes a property that is just that we're looking at. That has a fixed beginning and a fixed end. But when we leave this body, before eternity, there is a judgment. And that is why the psalmist says, teach me to number my days. Because there is a judgment coming. I am not talking about Terminator, the judgment day. I'm saying there's a judgment of God who is in heaven and earth who is going to judge you and me. And we must walk in full awareness of that. And that is what we are going to look at today. Hallelujah.